Hi folks, Croy here. Happy New Year. Happy 2014, the year that Elite Dangerous is due for launch. Very exciting. Thank you to everybody who's given me comments and feedback so far. Most appreciated. And also, let's have a quick look at 1.1 settings for mouse and keyboard. Mouse sensitivity. This seems to be new and it has dramatically changed the way that I've been using my mouse and keyboard setup. Dead zone, don't forget, a dead zone is how much you can move something until it actually has an effect. So in the case of mouse, you definitely want to tweak this and depending on your kind of mouse that you have, it might have on the fly DPI adjustments, but you might want to play around with sensitivity and dead zone and not just the dead zone here, but also the dead zone in pitch and roll. Make sure you've got yaw into roll off as well, otherwise you'll come into some strange movements there. Pitch a uh, the pitch axis is uh, a dead zone setting that will stop you from going up and down uh, too quickly. And the roll axis, if you have your mouse set to roll as I do, then that will be there. And I didn't worry about yaw. The other two things I want you to have a look at here are set speed to 50%, a nice easy key for you to find there, you'll need to press it quickly, and likewise uh, a key for 100% as well. Um, this is because when you're doing speed settings, you're not having to continually hold one key, you're just setting it and forgetting it, and 50% is roughly uh, round about where we're going to have the sweet spot. Also make sure um, that you have Sidewinder face off as your mission for this and we're going to have a look at doing it in I'd say under 40 seconds actually but I've seen it a few times let's slow it right down let's take a look here slow it right down weapons out speed set to 100% straight away I know the indicator doesn't go all the way at the top because you don't have all your power diverted to your engines but what we will do is divert first of all power to engines up and then full power to weapons so that's up 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 on the keyboard and right 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 on the arrow keys and then with your weapons out just before the enemy comes out the wormhole drop your speed down to 50 percent and again you're decelerating so that you're not just going to fly right past the ship as it comes out of the wormhole there you go now you can turn in target so get your target key somewhere handy so that you can get this excellent triangular reticule as well as this uh, on the HUD that shows you that you're hitting the shields. Um, already we've given damage, you notice there's a boost there so we're trying to keep up and firing away. The weapon has great range so you don't need to worry too much. Now I boosted too late, that's far too late. What you see now is I'm flying right under the ship. I haven't got sight of it. It could well be turning and firing. If it were a more aggressive enemy, it would be. But I've lost sight of it and I've lost time. Its shields are now 75% up and I'm not going to be able to take this ship out before its shields come out, despite my best efforts. That was an ill-advised boost. Now, also note that I'm not firing unless I've got a great lock. So conserve your power. Don't let your heat generate up and block your weapons or if you're using ammo don't let it uh, use it again there's another uh, engine boost and I can't keep up but it's probably okay in this instance because I've got shields down they're still the enemy and the hull's gone and the ship floats away and explodes right so very quickly we were prepared for that particular encounter we were ready for it even before the ship comes out, we've got weapons out, we've got power diverted full to weapons and enough in engines to keep us turning. We're boosting, our, our velocity's up and then we drop it down so we're decelerating even before we get to it. You force the ship to turn. The ship turns away, the AI handles that. You see another boost there. Surge detected as well means that they've diverted power into their engines so that you've got that full speed. You'll see already that the ship has got 2,000 meters and I'm still hitting it with both beams, both pulse lasers are hitting it. It's turned, it started to joust with me, but that's okay because it's got 1%. It's a long distance kill. Bang, there we go. And I still have full shields and I've still got full hull. And that if I were to go into another fight, I would be in a good position to do so. So let's have another look at that again. Weapons up. Engines, weapon power diverted, velocity set to 100%, drop it back as the ship exits the wormhole, 
lock target start to fire. Now I'm taking a little bit of damage here and that's probably because I was late but look how close you can now stay in behind the ship. You're not really getting it, giving it a chance to turn on you. You're always following it, you're always in the wake and this is why we were practicing that in the other two scenarios. Now again it boosted I've boosted as well, probably about, probably quick enough. I am going to lose, uh, but not too much. The acceleration was lowered. The shields are up again on the enemy ship, so now I have to take the shields down. Uh, but with the hull only at 10%, then it really won't be too long until the inevitable happens. So, I think a little bit of a system here. Uh, get your ship prepared, get it ready, and it really does make all the difference and you see how quickly you can get that with practice it really is just practicing those keys knowing what your controls are whether you're using a, a flight stick or a control pad it's the same principle fly in slow down make sure you're not going to overshoot your target get some quick and easy shots in force the ship to turn take out its shields start battering away on its hull now look at this red this red coming in now that's the boost, the engine boost, the actual warm noise. Now I've followed it there, I got it just in the right time so I can match the speed and I can match the turns. But when you've boosted, be sure to knock your speed back. Otherwise what's going to happen is you're just going to overshoot your target and you're not going to have it to, to hit and you're not going to be able to get those hull damage points that you need. So don't overshoot it, slow down, look at those white vapour trails coming out of the engines, there's another boost there and uh, notice there was no surge detected coming up there there was no surge detected so he hadn't diverted power into his engines and just so it was just a boost so uh, the shields are up again, that is unfortunate but the hull is down at half and I'm not wasting my shots he's getting a turn on me at about a thousand metres it's going to take a couple of shots but we are jousting here and I've got far too much shields this wasn't a very clean kill but nevertheless, it was a kill. Okay, so I said under 40 seconds. Let's have a look at that. Under 40 seconds. Here we go. Well, close enough, I think. Remember, get prepared before the battle starts. Put your power where it's needed into the pips and the management system. Get your speed up, get close, but slow down and don't over-accelerate. Don't boost when you don't need to boost. Keep your weapons cool. Don't shoot when you don't need to. I hope that was useful. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, and Happy New Year.